Here's a replay of Kanoa's wave. He's a little fella, isn't he? He's, a, well, he's 14. He's up against kids that are 20 years old. First time I started surfing was when I was three years old. He reads waves like he's 40. He's at the top of the heat. Surfing's just natural for me. I can't even imagine myself not surfing. He's right on track to be a professional surfer at the highest level someday. My name's Kanoe Garashi and I'm a surfer. I usually wake up every morning and look at the waves. I love waking up early and going surfing early. It's my favorite thing. Whenever you wake up early, it feels like the day goes longer, so I like that. And it gets slowed down a little bit. Let's do this. A good ride for me would be just a full, complete wave. In a session, there's always going to be that set, the biggest wave that comes in, and just linking my turns together and then finishing it off with like a big air or something. It just feels like you won something. Well, uh, you have seen young Kanoa here, Brett, surfing here at Huntington Beach for many years. He's got a lot of style and shows that he's smart out here. He goes big. Yeah, just 14 years of age. Kanoa's meeting expectations probably a lot sooner than everybody thought he would. He did a really good job. He wound up winning the heat. You know, he's serving really confident at his home spot, and um, you know, I'd expect him to keep doing well, but once again, he's only 14 and he's against 20-year-olds, so um, he's, he's way ahead of schedule. First time I started surfing was when I was three years old in Hawaii. He tried to surf, and then just one day he caught a wave, and then he he could stand up by himself. Maybe he's going to be a good surfer. Since uh, I've been hooked and I can't really get enough of it. This is Tokyo, born in Tokyo, so that the kids が欲しいなと思った時にずっと Chad Wells, he's like a big brother to me. He's definitely a huge part of my career. Kanoa is a normal 14 year old. He loves his candy, he loves his ice cream. But on the other side of that, you know, he's a really mature kid. He hangs a lot with adults. He carries himself really well. When I was 12, that's when I signed on with Quicksilver. Quicksilver, we'd support Kanoa with keeping him connected to the best surfers in the world monetary support, making sure he's building himself up as his own brand. It's a lot harder to get sponsored now than I would say it was 10 years ago. My current life is definitely a little different than everyone else's life. I travel probably just as much as I'm home, maybe more actually. France, Indonesia, Australia, Brazil, I mean Spain. I love traveling and I love meeting new people and I love surfing new ways, seeing new cultures. If you're gonna invest in an athlete, even at a young age, you're gonna wanna give them the collateral to do the travel and be exposed to, you know, different surf spots and conditions. Everything goes around surfing. I do homework a week earlier than I should be doing because I wanna go to the surf trip. I'm mostly a straight A student. Actually, I have one B in history, but I'm not sure if anyone really cares about history. <laughs> Even when I go golf, I golf because golf is really mental and I want to practice my mental. It's a really good way to just channel my energy and just relax and just kind of forget about surfing a little bit. It's fun to do something else with my friend Andrew and I've known Andrew for about three or four years now. And He's beaten me once by a couple points, a couple of strokes. And... 
I was sad. <laughs> really, I was so happy that day. If I make it in the soul right here, that means I'm gonna win a world title in surfing and then make the PGA Tour after. So just wish me luck, everybody. Okay, that's not gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna give myself two more chances. I'd say my biggest fears for him right now is just staying healthy and, and being real mindful of his body. Some of the technical surfing that he does and where he puts himself and how he lands. Like he puts his knees at risk pretty much on a daily basis. I want to be pro because having a job that you love to do is probably the best thing ever. I want it so much and I don't really, I'd be really disappointed if I didn't make it. I would like to see him succeed at what he loves to do. In this sport, there have been kids that, you know, have just kind of spiraled off the map. I can't even imagine myself not surfing and what I'd be doing. Getting on the wave and being free and connecting with the ocean. It's so natural and it's kind of a feeling you can't get anywhere else.